welcome to another episode uh, today we are going to talk about the where you stand with respect to us household on the income percentile are you at the top 1% or are you the top 20% or the top 50% or if you are not is that does that matter so that's something we would like to actually discuss according to uh, the us uh, government data for the year 2022 the household income distribution percentile is something like this for the 5% or the below the things have become worse if you look at it the percentage changes are ranging from minus 12.5% to almost 0% at the 7% mark and if you look at even 20% the only change is going to be 3.67% while if you look at the inflation the inflation has been rising very heavily and 2021 to 2022 the inflation was almost 6-7% and from 2022 to 2023 it has been uh, touched uh, 9% for a couple of months so if you take that into account it has been becoming tougher and tougher for people on the lower spectrum uh, of the household income so up to 20% that's actually becoming even tougher so if you look at the 25% mark the income change around 4.32% it was the highest change up to that 25% category and that still seems like a reasonable uh, increase given the fact that the inflation has increased drastically from 2021 so for the 25 percentile the annual income has gone up from 33000 to 34429 which is an increase of absolute increase of around 1426 dollar is that enough given the fact that uh, the inflation rose drastically that might not be the case but if we look that the growth between the 25% and the 40% mark is almost an increase of more than 50% so it has gone up from 34429 to 54945 and if we look at the bottom 50% so if your household income is less than 70000 in 2022 so you fall in the bottom 50% of the us household income and this is actually an increase of almost 4% from 2021 so if you look at the 60% mark it's around 89000 For the 75% mark, it is 129,550, and the change between 2021 and 2022 at the 75% has been more than 5.76%, which is still decent, taking into consideration the inflation. if you look uh, that the highest was around 6.11% at 72% percentile 
at the 80% mark, if you're making $149,212 more as a household, then you are actually almost in the top 20%. So the top 20% income percentile start from 149,212. And the top 90% start from 212. And the 95 percentile mark, it is 286,301. But if you look, uh, like after the 75 percentile mark the percentage change has been hovering around five percent but then for 96 percentile it has gone down to 3.54 percent but for 98 percentile it is 7.28 percent and for the 99 percentile it has actually gone up by 13 percent so the only time that's beating inflation is if your income was in, in the 98 percentile or a 99 percentile. So if your household income is more than $570,000, uh, you are in the top 1% household in US and your income change from 2021 to 2022 actually beating the inflation by considerable amount. So now if you look at uh, the distribution and the growth of income, so you can see that, okay, the income actually rose quite drastically or exponentially in the top 90, 80 to 99 percentile than from 0 to 80 percent. So the rise between 0 to 70 percent has been actually more linear and then it suddenly exponentially increased to $570,000. That just shows that, okay, there are far fewer professions where people actually make much more than the average person. So the, what's the lesson basically one can learn from here? The lesson here is that, okay, we need to find basically the right profession if we want to basically make a decent living in US. So look at the 20% distribution mark. So the 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, and then the 99 percentile. So between 80 and 90 percentile, the rise is actually exponential. While it was more linear between 20, 40, 60, and 80. Now if we take quadrile percentile, so 25%, 50%, 75 and then 99. That's between 75 and 99, you can actually see the drastic change and the linear change between 25 to 75%.
one thing we need to learn that okay it's not how much you basically are making how you're spending your money is actually the key to your success if your expenses out pass your income it doesn't matter how much you are making because you end up basically borrowing and living on the credit so is this data any you of any use the data is useful to basically show that it seems there are certain professions where the income is really very high and it makes sense to basically identify what are those and then if possible pursue them If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment.